What is up guys, welcome back to Throttle Clips. We have a very special episode. Nate and I are out here filming for another project, but we got the opportunity to come to a very special garage. This is Goldberg's Garage. If you don't know who Goldberg is. Goldberg is. You know what, you do. You already know who Goldberg is massive massive star and word has it is he has an unbelievable collection inside so we have a private tour he's here with a couple friends and we're gonna walk around the garage and we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride um, he does have a YouTube channel as well so you guys can go ahead and check that out we'll put a link for that in the video description but uh, we got a little sneak peek I saw a couple cars that are unbelievable you see a lot of Dodges in this garage a lot of really really special ones so um, I'll go through what I know, and then later on, if, if Goldberg gets free, we'll have him come over and show us some of the more details on them. Um, we've got two challengers, actually three challengers here. There's a couple things under these covers as well. well. We'll wait for him to show us that. But what I like about this one, really nice forged HREs, but also carbon fiber everywhere. So you can see the fenders are actually carbon fiber too. Carbon fiber hood. I love the black on black. We've got the, the Hellcat Viper and these cars on street tires is like almost unusable because they make so much power. Um, but I think you were saying this one's this one's about 1400 horsepower. I think oh, this, one, this one's twin turbo, right? This one's this twin turbo. Just the usual. I know. So check this one out. We'll get the turbos in the front. Unreal. Now this one, he does have the proper slick. He does have a bead lock on the back. Let's take a look. I bet it's a very similar setup that we were running. So yeah, Mickey Thompson, this uh, ET Street R, I think, or maybe an ET Drag. Yeah, ET Street R, which is a great tire. 315-5017. And this one also has carbon fiber flares. So I like the style too. I love the all black, dark tints, super clean. And you probably wouldn't know this thing makes 1400 horsepower. Unless you see the front. One of these is 850 of the wheels. That's that's almost easy for these motors. Um, but one thing that just caught my eye over here, actually to these two specifically, this is a Super Performance um, Shelby. I don't know too much about these cars, but they look like so much fun. It, it reminds me of like a go-kart. They're just absolutely tiny. We'll, we'll see if you can tell us a couple more details. Like this right here, come check us out. This is a 964. I think this is the best um, condition 964 that I've ever seen. All black, black wheels. And then look under here, you see the intercooler. So kind of like Rick's car. Rick's car had an aftermarket turbo kit. Um, this is a turbo and it is rear wheel drive. So that's kind of scary. But all black, super dark tints. I mean, you, you cannot even see inside. I'm pretty sure the interior is black, but Unreal. Yeah, I gotta it say, is, this is probably this, one of my favorites here yeah, in this garage. Yeah. It just looks so good. Yeah. It just looks like a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It being rear wheel drive, turbo. Scary a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Scary a little bit. All right, let's go check out over here. I don't know too much about this, but real quick. This thing's sick. It's kind of sick. It's a full on race car. This is a full blown yeah. race car right here. I bet that would be a lot of fun at the track. That's like, look at this cage on this too. Look at the seat. Like a little Kirky. That's nuts, the cage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exhaust. This is a little bit out of our, um, out of our wheelhouse here, yeah. but this thing is really cool. Yeah, pretty dope sim setup. It's got the hydro. It's pretty, it's got the fans too. That's legit. A couple of Harleys here. So this is a Sportster, a full-blown custom chopper. It's a West Coast truck. Yeah. What do you know about this truck, Becky? I would totally drive this thing. Plus, it's it's got Rhino lining on the entire thing, or equivalent. Big black Rhinos on there. This thing is huge. It's got a big lift on that too. I feel like if you drive that thing, you can later run over anything. <laughs> got a Mercury. It's a beautiful truck. His wife's truck. 
just, just restored. I don't know too much about this thing. I love the color. I mean, what I've noticed here is like everything is like perfect, pristine. Yeah, everything condition. is mint. It's like everything unreal. is mint. Now, this one, let's we'll save this one for last. And I may have Goldberg come out if he's free to show us this one because yeah. there's a this, really special this story special. with this one. Um, we're kind of moving to the classic section over here. Charger? Early charger? I think? Yeah. RT? So. Yeah. Kind of looks like the one from Fast and Furious. I don't know the year. There's another one over here too. Blue, I like the black though. But, I mean, once again, chrome is like. Uh, no, that was a little dirty per se, but like. Everything is very, very well kept. Great condition. Down to the badge. Yeah. I, I, so Goldberg does have a YouTube channel, as I mentioned, but it's just cool to be here um, to see these things that he's, he's collected. He's selling some of them he's had for 20, 30 years. Yeah. Uh, I think this one right up here, this uh, Firebird or Trans Am. Uh, owned it for so long and like yeah just he uses them too yeah i can't remember what track he was doing something with the optima street class and this thing you know trapping at 140 plus like he uses them which is pretty rad i like this one a lot satin black i love the matte finish sparko stuff big bear brakes on it um this one's pretty rad this is another one i don't know too much about um old biscayne Oh, here's the story okay. about the Lawman. But, is it all bubbled uh, up? All right, so this is the Lawman. This is a really special car in basically American history. So um, during Vietnam, um, when uh, military would come back to the States, a lot of them bought muscle cars and a lot of them crashed and hurt themselves or even killed themselves driving these cars because they made so much power. So the Lawman, the story of the Lawman is they actually brought, um, originally planned to bring two cars over to Vietnam to teach veterans, active military, how to drive over there so that when they came back to the States, they'd be a little bit more equipped to drive these cars with that much power. Now, as, as Goldberg just told us, they had built two of these cars and one of them got crushed. This is the surviving one that went over to Vietnam. I can't remember how many um, uh, military members saw the car. I think he said 40,000 or like, there was a tremendous amount of effort put into getting this car over there. And I'm sure it was a huge impact for them. Um, and then when it came back to the States, um, Goldberg had it restored and... It was auction, he bought it at auction, auction, auction actually. Yeah. yeah. So, so someone uh, else owned it. I don't think the person that owned it previously understood the whole story behind everything. What or Goldberg said, they did it, it actually belonged to Dennis from Gas Monkey Garage. And that's who they bought it. That's who Goldberg bought it from at auction, which is kind of crazy. Um, but Goldberg's now had it for a long time. I think he said 15 years, something like that. And he just had it restored and it is, it's perfect. Like, you know, you would never know this car is from the early 70s, right? Um, pretty insane. It's got a Marine Corps badge on it. It's an automatic too. So they converted it to automatic. Apparently it's one of the only 454s, I guess, with an automatic um, at that time. So apparently it's one of the only, or at that time, is one of the only uh, Boss 429s with an automatic too. So they converted it to automatic, I think, to make it a little bit less sketchy to drive, um, which is kind of interesting at that time. Most people probably would be driving manuals, but just to like, I guess, get people introduced to these cars, they converted it to automatic. Um, really cool though, cool old drag car. I like this. Uh this showcase is, car capsule. This is really like cool. This. Yeah, this is. You can imagine we had some of these for our cars. We'd actually keep them clean. Yeah. <laughs> Upstairs is the gym, um, but that's it. That's the tour of Goldberg's Garage. If there's anything else you guys want to see, like I said a couple times, check out Goldberg's Garage YouTube channel. We'll link that down below. And I just want to say thank you to Goldberg and their team for letting us be here. It's just, uh, it's very, very, very cool, and we're very grateful to be here. So, thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.